Can you open this nut or this cap of this cold drink bottle with your hand? Well, you would say we can easily open up a nut using a nut cracker and we can open up the cap of a cold drink with our bottle opener. So if I tell you that this nut cracker, this bottle opener, these are different types of machine, would you believe me? Well, you might think that machines are the big machines in factories and in industries. But let me tell you something. We are all surrounded by different kind of simple machines. The machine that you see in factories are complex machines, but we all of us are surrounded by many small simple machines which you come across in your day-to-day -day life. Lifting a bucket full of water with just a rope. It's very difficult, right? You need to apply a lot of effort in the upward direction. So it becomes difficult for you. But what if we use a single fixed pulley like this and we apply the effort downwards in order to lift up the same water bucket? In this way, it becomes convenient for you. Because in this case, you apply the effort in a convenient direction. So do you remember what are effort and what is load? Well, let's recapitulate. Effort is the force that you apply on the machine. That is, you are applying effort on the rope in order to lift up the water bucket. So the force that you are applying on the rope is the effort. And what will be the load? Well, the water bucket is the load in this case because the load is being overcome by the effort or let me say, load is the resistive force that the machine overcomes. So the pulley which I told you about oh, is overcoming the load, that is the water bucket. So in all kinds of simple machine, there is an effort that you apply on the machine and the machine tries to overcome the load. Now what do you do when you find a loose screw on your favorite wooden desk? Do you fix it with your hand? Well, no. In such a condition, we use a screwdriver in order to fix the loose screw. So this screwdriver which is being used here is also a simple machine. What are we doing? We are applying the effort on the screwdriver. So we are applying the effort on the screwdriver here. And we are fixing the loose screw onto the wooden desk. So this simple machine, this screwdriver is helping us apply the effort at a convenient point. So simple machine like the pulley allows us to apply the effort at a convenient direction and the screwdriver is allowing us to apply the effort at a convenient point. Now can you imagine lifting up such a heavy bicycle up the stairs? Well, you can do it but it would be difficult for you and you need a partner to help you out with this. But what if we use a simple inclined plane like this? A rigid flat surface which is inclined at an angle. This will help you lift up the heavy bicycle with ease. So an inclined plane is also a type of a simple machine where the effort required is much lesser. Now imagine you need to cut these papers very precisely in order to make a birthday card. Would you do it with your hand? Well, for such a case, you would use a scissor because in a scissor, you apply the effort on the handle of the scissor and the blades of the scissor move very fast. So even a scissor is a kind of a simple machine in which the blades of the scissor move very fast and you apply a small effort on the handle. By applying a small effort on the handle, the blades of the scissors move very fast. So, by seeing all these examples, you can now understand that simple machine is something which makes our work easier to do. Firstly, by using a simple machine, we can lift a very heavy load by applying a smaller effort at a convenient direction. That is, you are applying an effort in a downward direction and you are lifting up the same water bucket but with ease in this time. So, an example of a simple machine is a single fixed pulley. Also, a simple machine helps us to apply effort at a convenient point. So, the convenient point here was applying the effort on the screwdriver and not on the screw directly. 
So examples are screwdriver and also on the pedal of a bicycle. Because when you ride a bicycle, do you apply the effort on the wheels of the bicycle? No, you apply the effort on the pedals which makes the wheel move and you can move forward. So machines helps us to apply effort at a convenient point. Now by using a simple machine, a very heavy load like the bicycle can be directly lifted or moved using a less effort. So you are applying a lesser effort and taking much lesser time. So an inclined plane like this or even a car jack is an example of a simple machine. Because you know lifting a car with our hand is very difficult. So we use a simple machine like a car jack and we can lift up the same car using this car jack. Now simple machines also allows a greater movement of load. What do we mean by that? That is we are applying the effort for a smaller distance. That is we are applying the effort on the handle of the scissors while the blades are moving a longer distance. So we can see the load is moving a greater distance and a smaller movement of effort is given. So example is a pair of scissors. So even a simple thing like a pair of scissors is an example of a simple machine. So how can we define a simple machine? A simple machine can be defined as a device with which we can overcome a large load or a resistive force by applying a smaller effort. Like we use a scissor to do our work easily much faster, that is we are obtaining a gain in speed in doing our work. So simple machines help us achieve so many things. So like I told in the first slide, a nutcracker or a bottle opener are also examples of simple machines. Now you would be surprised to know that not only we humans use simple machine to do our work, even animals like a sea otter uses a simple machine. The sea otter that you can see here uses a stone in order to break open the hard shells of its prey. So here it is using a simple machine, a stone, in order to do its work easily. So even animals like a sea otter uses rocks in order to do their work.